Yes. <laughs> Look at this Association of Corporate Counsel. <laughs> They put out the 10 things general counsel should consider when examining anti-bribery and corruption practices. <laughs> Could you get me all the members of the Association of Corporate Counsel? Yes. <laughs> they have some really good literature. And <laughs> when I was reading through some of it, I thought, my golly. <laughs> I just wanted to know the corporate counsel of every corporation of the United States that... <laughs> Thought that a stock tip was a good idea, didn't you? <laughs> uh, now, bribery and corruption, yes. Money laundry and slavery, yes. And human rights abuses. <laughs> Would you consider it a human rights abuse to refuse to enforce the civil rights of American citizens? <laughs> How about refusing to enforce state legislation known as the Washington State Foreign Foreign Protection Order? Is that a human rights abuse? I mean, when we really talk about corruption, yes, fraud, yes, using the signature as a forgery, oh, issuing court orders where I'm not given any due process, yes, completely denying any knowledge of any sort of crime at all, is that corruption? <laughs> Now, these human rights abuses are just among a few of the risks affecting global supply chains. <laughs> now, these corporate counsels, these attorneys that you employ in various corporations, yes, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, the FCPA, ooh, the UK Bribery Act, oh my gosh, the OEC Guidelines for Multinational Enterprises. <laughs> And the United Nations guiding principles on business and human rights already expects companies yes, to have a robust cross-cutting approach to supply chain due diligence. The role of the general counsel, isn't that right? Corporations is keeping abreast of domestic and international legislative changes and crucial for third-party relationship management. Now there's that increasing transparency. Oh, we are at a new era of transparency where there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Ooh. Now for every candidate for office that understands these, uh, these corruption acts, ouch, you thought you had to get elected to office, but the general counsel's a multi... Oh, check the box approach. <laughs> Why don't you give me all the members of this um, general counsel association? Yes, <laughs> the association of corporate counsel. <clears throat> now, every one of them's an attorney. Is that how you get to be a, a corporate counsel? Yes, they are sworn attorney oaths. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they belong to bar association. Yes. <laughs> They're aware of human rights abuses and slavery. Pooch. There's a possibility that somebody paid someone off. Oh, well, there is some liability. Now I know you work for a corporation. Ooh, we're having an election today. Oh, and you completely deny any knowledge of my civil rights being violated. Yes, my custody rights. <laughs> my human rights. Ooh. I'm thinking I'm going to sue for these actual enforcement of what is known as the anti-bribery and corruption practices in every corporation of the United States. Now, I know. You had to get elected to office and you're keeping abreast of things. <laughs> you thought that I couldn't sue all the corporate council, but I think I can. See... When states don't enforce their own laws, the requirements of the RCWs, yes. When you continue to put me in jail where you know I didn't commit any crimes, you won't let me speak to my sons, and you kept saying that I have to motion the court. But you never had any actual jurisdiction since 2011. Now, as that American citizen that's a little upset today, I'm absolutely sure that any attorney that works for any corporation...